601st Aviation Support Battalion is doing Victory Action Week this week, and it's modeled after our 1st Infantry Division initiative of Victory Wellness, and we're calling it uh, Sustainer Games. Throughout the week, we've invited the other sustainment elements, the FSC from 2-1 GSAB, to compete against our sustainers, and overall, it's a great way to do the Victory Wellness initiative. We're taking a whole week to conduct this with the ASB and to integrate it with the Army values of personal courage and also uh, team building. The Aviation Support Battalion is made up of an entirely sustainer, maintainer MOSs. It's a very complex, diverse group of soldiers. And so we designed the sustainer games to fit into Victory Action Week in a way where each of those MOSs would be represented. So for example, uh, for the 25 series MOSs, the Camo guys, we did a retrans and an OE254 competition. Our Charlie company hosted that and we invited the Brigade S6 and also another Battalion S6 shop to come down and compete and set up and do a retrans site. My event in the Sustainer Game is the Law Quarry Challenge and the purpose of it is to see how well our maintainers can perform under timed event to complete a lock wire that is two to two or four standards and is approved by a technical inspector, which is the TI. My favorite competition for the Sustainer Games was a scamp competition where we had two cranes facing off to, towards each other and it was a timed competition where they had to move a water bucket from uh, one uh, X to another X without spilling any water, of course. Uh, well, I'm a comp competitive person, a uh, very physical person, and I love to compete, and I love to win, which means I hate to lose. So, um, you know, doing this, uh, without a doubt, if I'm going to come out here, I'm going to get it 100%, even though the weather's bad. For today, we're doing the FARP, uh, the four-point FARP, we really didn't know. We practiced two-point FARPs all week, you know, but us being competitive and motivated and, you know, ready to get out there and win. Uh, what you see here, we're set up for a four-point FARP competition. Two eight-man teams, one from the 601st Battalion, one from the 2-1 Battalion, are competing by time and to standard to set up a four-point FARP. The obstacle course here is designed to test soldiers' uh, physical and uh, their confidence as they conduct the, each individual obstacles. With the risk mitigation due to the weather, we did have to take out some of the uh, higher obstacles, if you will, and we incorporated some calisthenics uh, along with the 9 line medevac. The division back at Fort Riley executed Victory Week uh, right around the time of the Army birthday, and that gave us several ideas, and we asked the question, how can we do this as a support battalion while we're deployed? And so we looked at what different sustainer competitions we could do to nest a competition where we build a spree de corps, team building, and also uh, personal courage amongst our troops, using the tasks that they're expected to do every day. So that's how we modeled it, uh, and it turned into a series of competitions. We invited another battalion and our brigade headquarters to come and compete against us, which kind of upped, uh, upped the competition and the motivation a little bit, and got off to several different events that we integrated into Victory Action Week. And, and really it's part of a bigger plan that we have while we're deployed to ensure the wellness of our soldiers through uh, several touch points each month uh, that we dedicate and uh, take time and set it aside uh, to focus on the wellness of our soldiers and taking care of them.